I am giving away an ultimate descendant of your choosing. I haven't even got one for myself yet, but to pay back to all the nice support I've been having lately, let's give one away. If there's enough interest, I might do some more in the future. So yeah, it's going to be cool and it's going to be fun. Make sure you hit the like button on this video, subscribe and no, put notifications on if you want, if you want to, you don't have to, but make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me who your favorite descendant is and why. Because I want to see some funny, silly comments. Enjoy the video. Welcome back to the channel today. We are looking at the Thunder Cage, the most DPS broken crit build in the world. I made a video a week ago, maybe by now, where I just put up a general broken build for general players so they could use it across the board from Colossi to just general gameplay. And it, people were very mad at me, so I thought I would go and make a full on Thunder Cage build. As you can see, I'm at 600,000 DPS. I need to switch up my abilities, so we're going to do that now and hopefully get some better stuff that allows me to be able to get way more dps so i need essentially critical hit rates and also firearm attack that's probably what i need the most so let's try and get that we don't want that hit fire accuracy we don't want that we don't want any of these fire attack i thought that was firearm attack then i started to panic oh no this is gonna take forever i might run out of materials let's hope we get something soon Firearm attack 10%. Uh, I think that might be my best choice. But if I lock it, then it's going to cost 20 per roll. I've got to get lucky and get a gold firearm attack at the very least. <sighs> Please, game. Please, game. Come on. Just be nice to me. Be nice to me. No oh, man, why are you giving me hit fire accuracy? Nobody wants that. Oh, electric attack though. Does that put my DPS up? No, it doesn't really. I just had a look. I need firearm attack. I need firearm attack. Definitely. And then maybe critical hit rate. But at the moment, I'll just take literally anything. So I'm going to run out of these materials. Oh, rounds per magazine isn't terrible. But I want everything damage wise. Please game. Just please. Firearm attack, 10%. What does that actually give me in terms of DPS? Before I kind of... Oh, it gets me up to 620,000. I might have to just... Might just have to bite the bullet and keep it on blue. <laughs> but I'm a gambling man. Oh, I almost re-rolled everything then. That would have been hilarious. No, I thought that was firearm attack. Come on, game. Stop teasing me. Oh, firearm critical hit rate. I could lock that. Yeah, I think that's probably going to be worth locking. Now I just need firearm attack. Please, please, just give me firearm attack in these last couple of ones. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please, please, for the love of God. <laughs> no. Right, come on then. Please, please just give me firearm attack. I'll even take it as blue. I haven't seen it once this entire time, which is utter insanity. Ah, oh, no, I've got, I've got to go. Yes, firearm attack. Finally, I'm going to have to take that. I'm going to have to take it as it is and see what kind of damage we now do with this DPS wise. I'm assuming it's around 638,000. I will take it. I will absolutely take it. So let's go test this out. So in the future, I'm going to be getting that firearm attack and firearm critical rate gold. That is my aim, which would probably push this up to around about 650,000. However, with Valby, your DPS is going to be more when you're using something like Supply Moisture, which gives you an extra 20% critical hit rate with your firearm while you're standing in water. So essentially what I've got right now is probably more damage than most people can achieve with the Thunder Cage on its own if they're not using Valby. So I'm very excited to get it up as much as I possibly can. Now, I've only just actually got all my Thunder Cages and put them all in, so... You know, let's um, see the blast radius on this bad boy. Oh god, actually, it's insane. 
Wow, wow. Right, now let's test the damage. Right, let's start first with just the normal little baby no mods. So I'm getting like 12,000 on a precision. 22,000 on a crit. 4,700 on a white. And then... Will I ever hit a yellow? Apparently I can't hit yellows. But you see, it's not that great. Right, now let's go on to my main bad boy weapon. We have got... 59,000 on a normal precision. Let's get that headshot on the go, that crit, sorry. Where are we going? Where are we going? 100,000 on a crit on this big boy guy at level 100. Did these take more damage? No. You can see I'm doing a hell of a lot more damage, but if I stand in some water and we do it again, you can see that those 100,000s are just coming up way more often, way, way more often. Oh, I ran out of bullets. And honestly, the amount of 100,000s that I'm hitting in one clip and the reload speed now is be nominal. Also, if you didn't know, you can um, do a little, a little roll and get like a fast, a fast reload on the, on the cage when it gets to about halfway. If you roll, you fully reload your gun. You don't even need to get halfway to be honest. You can go like a quarter of the way. I wonder how quick you can actually do it. All right. Well, you can see anyway. I'm doing loads of damage. I got good reload. Could do more damage if I got the right intrinsic perks and mods. And then with water as well, just doing insane amounts of damage. So I would take a guess that currently right now, while I'm standing in water and getting good luck, I'm around 650,000 DPS. That's just a pure estimate. I have no facts or numbers about that, but it's definitely doing a lot. So let's go fight something with it and see what we can do. I'm actually genuinely curious how quick I can kill him on this because I've seen people do really fast kills with a lot of different things and I just don't feel like a singular gun is going to do much but I guess I guess I'm about to find out so let's uh, just drop some water come on buddy open your eye oh my god the reload speed is unbelievable I feel like I should be killing him faster like I'm missing something but honestly, he is going pretty fast. Let's just drop some water here. Bam. Okay, there's a weak point gone. Let's do this other weak point if I can hit it. I think... Ah. I need to get some of these kingfishers. And get some ammo. That's what I need. Ow, 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 ow. Bam. Oh. Ow. Come on. Come on. Obviously, there's like better weapons for colossi damage, like tamers. And I've heard a couple of other guns, which I have yet to try out because I'm not investing money or time into researching them yet. I'm just too busy with my thunder cage. But honestly, I'm not even like thinking or trying with this. I'm just, I'm just shooting. Just, I know Swamp Walker's fairly easy anyway when it comes to colossi. Uh, drop some water. Ow! That was not nice of you. Get back over here. Stop running away from me. This is one thing that really drives me crazy about these. Is how they just keep running. Hey, ow. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I, I obviously didn't optimize it. I wasn't throwing my water down. I just wanted to see what I could do as well without using my water. But let's go try it on something else. So I don't expect to beat Dead Bride right now, but I'm going to go use it. It's got normal for electric, but it is a burst type weakness for the weak points. I'm going to go public and just, just see what we can do with it. You know, I know it's not made for Colossi, but let's see if we can actually enjoy our time using it. Right, so let's try Dead Bride. It's got normal damage, no weakness to electric, but the weapon being a burst type and the weak points being a burst type, we might see something something fun here. I've gone public, um, just so you know, we can try and beat it. But I'm very curious to kind of see what might happen. We've got some uh, glaze, which means they're probably going to absolutely obliterate him before I even get a chance to show it off. Please don't look at me. Like, go, go look at someone else, not me. Oh, I thought you fell off on the sky. Right. Meow. I really hate these ones with like, um, 
Well, that's actually some beefy damage with all the lava, because it's like, I, I just want to be able to fight, like... Whoa, where are you teleporting to? Missy. Is anyone else shooting this person? Get out of the way, Glate. Doing fairly good damage, I think. I don't remember Dead Bride teleporting like this in the normal one. It's been a while since I um, fought against it, though, so... I'm coming to shoot up close. You're going to have to tell me whether this is good damage or not. Because if you've played Dead Bride, obviously there's way better guns to fight her with. I'm going to see what we can do. I'm going to cut to later on in the fight. I really shouldn't have queued up with two general, general ammo weapons, should I really? I can't get too close because this bloody ice, ice cage thing is going to come out in a second and do me over. I could do quite good damage from a decent range though, to be fair. I'm here buddy, don't you worry. The damage drop off on this gun is terrible though, I need to get out of here. Ooh, god. Oh no, he's dead. I need you to get out of there bud. I'm trying to help, I'm trying to help, I'm trying to pull the aggro. I hate mid-air maneuvers, man. It's so silly. Just let me lock on. To the point. Yeah, don't worry, mate. I'll, I'll go around and get him. Even though the boss is aiming at me. Please pull the boss off me. Please pull the boss off me. Oh my god, there's another guy down. Are you going over there? Thank you. Uh-oh. I'm so low health, I'm so low health. Oof. Woo! Mate, we can't die here. I'll try and kill out these kill kingfishers with this secondary weapon. <gasps> no, don't do it. Oh god, I ran into ice. I need to, I need to back the hell up. We just gotta take it nice and easy. We don't have to worry. Okay, we might have to worry because that person is right in there. Oh, I got immunity on. God damn it. We're gonna have to let you die, bud. Oh, sugar. That was close. Why are you firing at me for? Why are you firing at me for? I gotta run. Right. Hopefully I can get some bloody actual damage in there. Instead of running around. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Probably not a good idea to fall in the lava. Why are you obsessed with me, man? I didn't even finish off him off on the cage because I didn't know what weapon I was on. But yay! First time dead bride. Without any kind of um, defense as well against ice, was it? Yeah, ice. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool indeed. Let's see what we get from this. Nothing, because I haven't got an amorphous material. But I did get one of these things. Uh, this here. So this is chill skill power, so that's obviously for Viesa. Oh, I got two of them as well. Nice. I need to go put these in my vault so they're safe whenever I use a character. And that's the weapon. You can see that is pretty goddamn good. I really do need to level up this though. The Eternal Willpower. i got to get sockets on all of these. Because at the moment I've only got a module still 49. But i got a feeling this gun's going to be phenomenal. And people have told me about it as well. But, you know, from the cage. Pretty goddamn amazing. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down below. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome. Thank <laughs> you.